Space is not a sanctuary anymore. All of our satellites can be destroyed by an enemy determined to do that. If you can put a satellite in space, then you can put a bomb in space. The Chinese shoot down of one of their own aging satellites back in 2007. I have been in an exercise um, regarding the South China Sea scenario. I've seen it many, many times. What we didn't really have was responsiveness of launch. Something everybody knew would help us in the exercise, but it wasn't exercised. It became obvious, it was incredibly important to the combatant commander to keep that going, because it was everything to the fight. And then most recently, uh, in 2021, when the uh, Russians shot down one of their satellites, and then the Russians in particular accompanied it with, uh, with pretty, pretty grave threats against the American uh, GPS system. I mean, the fact Putin's invaded Ukraine has just upended everybody's thinking about, I'm hoping conflict doesn't break out. Well, it's broken out. Warfare is getting more information intensive, and space is the most efficient way to collect and convey information. Inevitably, information is going to be the key to military victory. Our current space posture is too vulnerable to attacks that could occur too quickly and which would take too long for us to recover from. We need to fill that gap in time. And that is where the ability to launch rapidly, to launch from anywhere, and to launch into any orbit is so important. And that capability is given by airborne launch. From the standpoint of American national security, uh, the launch sites of Cape Canaveral and the launch site of Vandenberg Air Force Base have been immensely important. Here's an interesting data point about Cape Canaveral. Everyone knows what it is, everyone knows where it is. If, in fact, the stakes are extremely high and the homeland gets attacked, these very well-known places are probably at risk. Since they're on the ground, they are vulnerable to weather. Anything below the clouds is gonna be influenced by the weather. But in wartime, when you have a bad weather situation, sometimes you can't wait another day. Sometimes you still need to press forward. The idea of a airplane that can fly thousands of miles and then launch a satellite uh, gives a tremendous degree of flexibility. There's also, in the domain of space, there's this very specific advantage of having global mobility. If you're able to find yourself in a place where the capability can be delivered in spite of whatever the weather might throw at you, that would be an advantage. We have a new technological advance in the possibility of rapid airborne launch of military satellites, and that's a capability that we should have in our armamentarium, and the sooner the better.